So it's always been the heart of God to create this gorgeous, diverse culture. From our very beginning, we've been gorgeously diverse. And from our very beginning, we've had Roman supremacists, Greek supremacists, uh, Jewish supremacists, male chauvinists, feminist uh, chauvinists, uh, you know, from the, from the Greek mystery religions. Uh, you've had the broken, in, who were sexually broken in society, the high and the low of status the high, and money. So it, they've all been in the church. And, and every time they try to separate, Paul says, you are one in Christ. Every time they try to say, I, it'd be more convenient to just ethnically split, you're one in Christ. It would be better to have a Jewish Christianity and a Gentile Christianity. You are one in Christ. It would be better if the victims had their own place and the victimizers had their own place. You are one in Christ. It would be better if the women had a spot and the men had a spot. No, you are one in Christ. And I'm going to read to you the scriptures, just one right after another, Colossians. This is the four different churches in four different cities. Would you notice how similar Paul's exhortation to them is? You put on the new self, Corinthians, Colossians 3.10, uh, which is being renewed in the knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is not, there is not Greek or Jew. There is not circumcised or uncircumcised. Here there is not barbarian or Scythian. Here there is not slave or free, but... Christ is all and is in all. He drives them back to each other. 1 Corinthians 12, for we were all baptized into one spirit to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, given one spirit to drink. Galatians 3, 26, through Christ all, we are all sons of God and there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ. Ephesians 4, walk worthy in the gentleness uh, we, we mentioned this already, bearing with one another to maintain the unity of the spirit. There's one body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God. And then finally, Ephesians 2, he is our peace who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility. Now, in its original, Paul had already lumped everybody that's non-Jewish in one, like we're all together right there. And he's saying with the non-Jew and the Jew, that wall of hostility has been broken down and those two are becoming one. So I'm going to have the ushers begin to ha pass out communion as I finish up this message. And because we're going to take communion, we're going to celebrate our oneness, our oneness. And uh, there's kind of one loaf. There's, there's one supper for us. And that's going to be passed up. Please try to keep listening as you are, you know, as you're getting the, um, uh, the elements of communion. And I'd be, it's okay if you're talking to the Lord while I'm talking, just a little bit like, uh, hey, Papa, do something great in this communion. Overcome my fear. Uh, create more hope. So the tools I gave you. Hear somebody's heart, know your own heart, create a new normal. Have a spot in your worldview, in how you think the world works, that the majority culture and the majority ethnicity probably have a different experience than the minority culture and the minority, minority ethnicity. Okay, those two, those two ideas. The last kind of items I want to give to you is, um, is, is two things. One is that it seems in America, if, if we identify diversity as this, are you listening? Yeah. Okay, if we say diversity is 80% of the congregation is white or black or Hispanic, and at least 20% is, is in a white congregation is, is black or in a Hispanic converse, uh, congregation is Native American, however we do that, if we say at least... 20% are part of minority culture of the congregation. And if 20% of the leaders, the representatives, are part of minority culture, the number of churches in America that have that level of diversity, 2.5%. 2.5% of the churches in America have the diversity in their congregation and their leadership. Well, what does that tell you? Listen, there's no law making that so. Or there were laws and there were economics that made it so for a season. But at this point, part of it is that we self-segregate. We self-segregate. 